This game has a tendency to ramp up the difficulty in sort of plateaus rather than gradually. There will be levels where the challenges are pretty standard, but then there will be one that just pisses you off. Our new feature of this level are these cannons that fire on sight. More specifically though, the new mechanic we're going to be using is hiding in the shadows, helping further solidify the fact that this is actually kind of a stealth game. Our only item in this level will be this pot of honey, because, well, why not? Our bonus is behind those rocks over there. We'll be able to get to it using this level's main puzzle, which is going to be moving around these sort of elbow pipes here in order to manipulate the cannon fire. I know, it's going to be a blast. What we're aiming for are three beehives. It'll make sense later. Our first target is going to be the bonus itself. It's pretty easy to miss if you don't know where it is. But luckily we do. After that, just a quick swim over and bam, we got our bonus. Next up is going to be the beehive closest to the lake, seeing as though we kind of already got the one double pipe set up, we just got to move this one over. The beehive in the middle is the easiest one because you literally don't have to do anything if you just kind of come up and do it before moving the pipes around. Before we get to the third one, we do have one last little bit of setup. We gotta give some extra motivation to the bees. There. Now maybe they'll think Sam's disrespecting their honeys. Now the last cannon. This one's a bit tricky. Mainly because the pipes you gotta move around are pretty dangerous to move around, seeing as though there's quite a few cannons around them to shoot you in the face. All I can tell you is just be patient. Trust me. Now with Sam incapacitated, we can just stroll out with the sheep. The thing will go orange or whatever, but it doesn't matter if you can see you, he's kind of busy right now. Now you may be wondering why I uh, felt the need to mention the difficulty of levels when so far it's been a pretty easy puzzle, as long as you, you know, be patient. Well, now we have our first boss encounter of the game. And Gossamer is much less cuddly this time around. The following fight with Gossamer is the result of over an hour practicing on him before recording. This encounter is stupidly difficult. Basically, we need to run circles around him until he falls over. But to get that to happen, you need to start running at the exact moment with the best angle, or else you'll just get caught and smashed, or he'll do a stomp and he'll knock you off the side or just away from him and it annoys you. In the event that he does catch you, you can still get away. He like kind of knocks you flat and you can waddle along. But getting away can be kind of tricky, because if you don't do it perfectly, you'll catch up and he'll boot you across the room. It's sometimes it's easier just to let him kick you towards where the goal area was. Especially like later on in the fight, when you've gotten two stages down and he flattens you, 
And if he kicks you in the lava, you have to do the entire fight all over again. As irritating as counter is, I do have to say that I can appreciate that Gossamer is actually in a setting where he belongs. Gossamer has always been that sort of castle dungeon monster, like he's the Rancor or something. It's much more fitting here than it was the last place you saw him. Alright, with kind of two, let's say, phases down, I feel I should mention right now, every time you do this, the amount of time you have until Gossamer gets back up is short. I'm pretty sure the first one is like 25 seconds, second is 20, and the last one he's only down for 15 seconds. Easiest way to get by this is, when you're running, there's like a momentum you end up with, like some inertia. It's best to, when he falls down, point uh, Ralph in the direction of the sheep so that the momentum takes you the rest of the way and you're just kind of saving seconds. Valuable, valuable seconds. As you look, already eight seconds. Chances are he's going to get back up as you're on this gear, but I'm pretty sure once you're up here, he's, you're fine. My only worry is maybe he can knock the sheep off, but by the time he's actually up and ready to attack, You've got, you should have this done. Now, now that he's politely made us a bridge, all we gotta do is carry the sheep over. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later.